If I, if, if, I, if I could respond, because uh, if you think that St. Lawrence County has the same kind of um, terror, terror threat as, as New York City or Brooklyn or Queens, then you must agree with the president and, 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 and those people in Homeland Security who give more money to Wyoming to New York, which is why I guess Republicans haven't done their job and make sure that New York City gets, and New York State gets the money it needs for Homeland Security. Because the reality is, it doesn't. And if you tell me that the Brooklyn Bridge and, 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 you know, and the Empire State Building and you know, Radio City Music Hall have the same, and the Statue of Liberty have the same value as, you know, I mean, what? I mean, it, 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 I mean, so, so, tell me something that, that's up there that is going to be a real, uh, a, a real historic, a historic value that's going to make the kind of a, a, a terrorist uh, target. None of those things, they don't exist in, in the same kind of way. And that's, Senator and that's Wright, that's all. excuse me. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Senator Senator Parker. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Senator Wright, why do you rise? Thank you, Madam President, because I have the honor of representing St. Lawrence County. And I've sat here very quietly listening to my colleague demonstrate his lack of knowledge. But I will point out that one of the primary security issues in St. Lawrence County is the hydro facility located at Messina. Right. The hydro facility that provides power to the city of New York and all the other institutions that the senator articulated. So in truth and in fact, we deserve the same kind of protection, the same kind of representation that any other district in this state is entitled to. And I agree with my colleague, Senator Flanagan. We're here to debate an issue, not to be insulted about who we represent or how we represent them. Thank you, Madam President.